evening everybody um tonight i'm gonna start this one which is 6891 of new look and i'm gonna do c as it has the tie in the front um it does call for lace and i'm not putting the lace on it so um, this is the material I'm going to be using my spring look and you're going to need pieces one, two, eight, and six. So let me get this cut out and we'll start sewing. Okay, now we're going to start. This pattern has a lot of um, markings in it, so just beware. Okay, so we have to first gather our front piece, which is side one. And I'm making a 12 again. I don't know if it's going to be a little big, but we'll see. And between these small dots mark because this is where we're going to gather. So mark there and mark at the 12. Then turn your piece over and your pattern over. And mark your dots. Okay, this is where we're going to gather. Just be sure my dots are big enough that I can see them. Okay, then come down to your sewing machine and we're gonna gather these. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Um, with the string because I want to keep this gathering in because there's a lot of movement going on with this pattern. So I'm going to go to a zigzag and I'm just going to make a little bit bigger zigzag. And right at my dot, bigger. I'm going to zigzag. And stop at your other small dot. So see you have, this will really hold it in good. Let's get the other piece done. gathering. Okay. Be sure to put your sewing machine back to your straight stitch. Okay, get your pieces. And your piece of pattern and a pin. And now 
mark this hole right here. Oops, sorry. On both pieces. Get these marked. And then we're going to sew from the edge up to this big dot. So put right sides together and pin, pin from your dot all the way down and then we're going to do a 5 8 stitch. Let me get that done. Okay, from your bottom edge to your big dot, so a 5 8 and you're probably going to hear my cat in here. He's snoring. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way just because that's where my mark. I didn't mark it on the other side to go the other way. Once you have your seam ironed open, from your little corner right here, or not corner, but the edge, you're gonna fold over a quarter and then fold it again. And you're gonna do that on both sides. So just kind of turn it. And pin it. Then what you're going to do is come down real close to here of your seam and where it stops, pivot and go across and then come back up very close to your seam. But go ahead and pin it and I'll meet you back at the sewing machine. Okay, we're back at the sewing machine. See, this is going to give you your opening. So very close to this stitch and get your gathering thread out of the way and stitch down okay once you get there pivot Remove your needle. Okay, am I right there? I want to go down one more, two more stitches. Okay. Okay. So to the next folded seam, come back up and as close as you can get. This is what you're going to have. A nice V. Okay, with your back, you're going to sew up the center back. Just be sure you match your notches. So get that all pinned up. My 
hands just don't want to work tonight. There. Okay, right sides together. Match your notches. That's real important. And pin this up and sew a 5 8 seam. And I'll be right back. Okay, come back to the sewing machine. And press your seam open. Get your front and back pieces, and we're going to sew them at the shoulder. So match your notches. and pin it and sew it. Okay, once you have that done, you're gonna sew your sides and match your notches. And once I get that done, I'll be back. Okay, once you have your sides sewn up, pin. open up your seams. Now the fun part, this neck band and tie. Keep your shirt inside out for right now. my center back so let me mark this just so I know it's this end okay you're gonna have to mark this on both of them you have on your pattern two small dots and I'm at 12 so you're gonna hit it there and dot there and dot there and then turn your pattern around and do the exact same thing and I missed it there's another dot right there so you have these dots those dots and then these dots. Okay, go to the sewing machine. Put these right side together and match your notch and sew a quarter inch seam. Then just press this open. Okay, I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. Keep your shirt inside out. With the right side of your material, place your center seam of your bind neck binding to your shirt 
and pin it. In those two little dots, the first ones is your shoulder. So be sure it says you might have to stretch it. So put that down on your shoulder. That those dots right there. Okay, then come to your other shoulder and find your other knots right there. Okay, your, I mean your dots and pin it. It even says you're gonna have to stretch it some. So you're gonna have to kind of like stretch your material and just play around with it to get it right. Doesn't seem to want to stretch that much, but we'll see. I might have to just move it just a little. I have to move my dots just a little. I'm close. Okay. Keep pinning this. Okay, I'm going to just have to move down my shoulder dots just a little. Not bad. Maybe like a half inch. Okay. So once you get that part done, you're going to come around to your front. And you have your dot here and your dot here. That has to match up to this. Now, this is where you gathered. Let me find my other dot here. I might have not marked it. Hold on. No, let me go mark those. Hold on a minute. I marked them on the right side, not the wrong side. Okay, so where you began to gather, let me go down and get this down a little. Okay. Put a pin, and there's a mark there. And you're just going to have to make this fit. enough. Okay, so pin where you begin to gather as close as you can get. Okay, now you're going to gather right in here. Still need to gather more. And you want this dot right on the edge of your seam. And you're going to pin this. Just get it so it looks not too bunched up in some spots, but enough to get you over 
to here. Actually, I think, no, because you're going to need it to turn, okay? So, right at your seam here. So, pin it. And then just, like I said, just gather it so it lays flat. That looks pretty good. And be sure it's all the way up. And this is going to be your tie for your front. So then come back around and do the exact same thing and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have it pinned, you want to baste this. So get your needle and thread in a different color and start basting this. And when you baste it, when you baste it, be sure that you're picking up your two pieces and they're even. You want these even because you are only going to be sewing a small seam. I want to move that a little. There we go. You are only going to be sewing a small seam. So... You really need to base this in place. And just, you know, where your pins are, just be sure that it's even. Okay, so I'm going to get mine basted and I'll be right back. Like I said, I just use some thread that I really don't want to throw out, but there's not much to make with it. So it's great for basting. Okay, so you only need, you know, the one strand. And just start basting. Like right at that seam, that starting of that seam. So start basting. Okay, and then just check and be sure these edges are pulled up and baste them in place and go all around the neck line. Okay, and I'll get mine done and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have this all pinned and baste. What you're going to do right at the beginning of your dot, you're going to do a quarter inch seam. Sew it. But just keep going back. You know, like when I showed you when you have it on, just be sure everything is flat on your sewing machine. So when you're going, 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 just be sure that everything's flat, you know, not your gathering, but just be sure all of this is right to the edge. I am going to put, I have a professional quarter inch foot. And I'm going to put that on my sewing machine. And you can also get these for other, other machines. Not just the Janome, but you can get it for other sewing machines. And it really helps when you're doing projects like this. 
you have enough to worry about your edges and everything and to have to sit there and keep looking down to be sure that you're at a quarter inch is crazy. So I'm going to get this sewn up. I got to go um, give my puppy his um, cookies for the night and then I will return. And yes, I am wearing the the lounging pants I made last night. They're really, really comfortable. So if you like uh, to lounge around, <laughs> these are really good to lounge around in. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I, I'm, I also got myself a cup of coffee. Okay, so we're gonna start this. And start at you know, one of your red dots. You want to go out, KK? Hold on a minute. Go ahead, honey. That way. There you go. And you're going to start sewing your quarter inch. And just keep checking your back. To be sure this is even because you're not going to have a lot of material to turn over when you see it. But just be sure that you are right at a quarter inch. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, once you get done with that, let me put you down a little. Okay, once you get done with that, you're gonna take out your basting thread and your gathering thread. So let me do that and then we'll get on to the next part. Just before, or just be sure before you take out your basting, go around and be sure that you have caught the whole neckline. You know, where, especially near the gathering part, you want to be sure you, you caught that. All right, let me get my other gathering thread out. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is go to your iron. And you're going to press this upwards. Okay, all of this upwards. Okay, once you have that done, you're gonna take your, this corner. I'm kind of doing a, a cheat thing right here. I'm just folding this whole thing. And it's just gonna guide me in our next step. So you're gonna turn over this raw edge a quarter of an inch. Hot steam. Okay, make this a little bit smaller. There. Okay. Okay, go around and do a quarter inch all around your sh all around this edge. Okay, and I'll be back. Once you have that done, get your pins. Make sure this is nice and straight. And you see your, your seam here? 
you're going to fold this just at that seam. Okay, just so it covers that seam. And then just press it and place a pin. And you might have to play with it a little just to be sure. So just pin it. I wouldn't suggest clips for this because it's not gonna hold it in very well, I don't think, but you can try. Okay, and keep going, pressing this down. Be sure that this seam is upwards. Okay. And press it in it, get to that seam. I got a little of my gathering thread I got to take out of here, but I'll get that after there. Okay, there. Okay, just keep going around, being sure this is up. Get it right where it needs to be. Press it. And pin. And I'll be back. You know, when you get to the end, let me see if I can get there, okay. Do a quarter inch turn on this. And I'll show you an easy way to We're going to go to the sewing machine. And as close as you can, sew along your folded edge right here, all the way around. Take your time because you might have to adjust a little but just take your time with it. Be sure everything is flat underneath. And let me get this done. And I'll be back to show you how to finish the tie. Okay, once you have that done, here's mine. Go back to your ironing board and just press it quick. Oh, that's my bird. <laughs> I got a zoo here. Okay, let me get my scissors. I just got a little piece of thread right here. Okay, get that nice and flat. Okay, so we got this all ironed out. Now, there's a couple ways you can do your string. And I'll try to explain it. You can take your string like this and bend it down. and sew it the quarter inch. So you would go across, let me go this way, you would go across from the fold 
and not even a quarter inch. You wouldn't have that much. And sew all the way down and leave an opening. And then you would turn it right side out. Another way to do it, which I think I'm going to do because I don't really care if, like, um, stitches show. Just string up. Fold your end. Okay, fold your end. And fold this a half or a quarter inch and press it down and then your other side the same way and then match them up Can clip or pin and just match them up and sew as close to the seam as you can okay so you would have something like this and then start here and sew all the way. You don't really have to worry about your end because your end is folded. So you're not really gonna see it. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna grab a bunch of clips with a bunch of thread on them. And I'm just gonna pin them even and when you get to when you're gonna start I should say oh, I got so much thread around here okay when you're gonna start doing this come back over to like this stitch or this little piece right here you know and start here and sew it down in that way it would just look like it's a continuous piece okay so I'm gonna get my other I got a little thread here I'm gonna get my other side done and I'll sew it up and then we'll start doing the sleeves so I'll be right back. Okay, here's mine. So now we're gonna make the sleeves. Now these are supposed to have lace too, but, and even the body's supposed to have lace, but I don't want lace. So I'm just not gonna put it on. But so far, this is what we got. All right. So just come to your ironing board and if you want, you can just, you know, press these. Okay, let's get the sleeves and that's number eight. First thing we're going to do is mark them because we're going to gather. So up 
here and up here mark it because that's where we're gonna gather so center a 12 to there to there to there then turn your pattern around or your piece of fabric and mark again there's that that's the middle Go to the sewing machine. And we will gather up. And I usually put a mark. Sometimes you can't see it. But this is like my middle. Just so I have kind of a reference okay so let me get these gathered and I'll be right back okay now we're gonna sew up the arm so match your notches And sew these up. And I'll be right back. And that's the five eighths also. So once you get this done, we're gonna go to the ironing board, open up our hem, we're going to press under a quarter inch and then press it again and that's going to be our hem and then we're going to sew up our hem. So just open up your seams here. And then turn, like I said, turn quarter at your raw edge. Turn the corner and turn it again. Press it, clip it or pin it. And then we're going to sew along here. So let me get mine done and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have that done, measure to be sure that your sleeves are even. Mine seem to be pretty even. 
and just so as close to this seam as you can. Now, if you were going to do lace, this is where your lace would come in. I'm not doing lace. So let me get these sewn up. Alrighty, I have mine done. And we're gonna attach our sleeves. So fold them right side. Get your garment. Now, we're going to find my notches right here and right here. Now, you're going to gather them up. And where I put my middle slash is going to be right in the middle. So I'm going to pin that first. <clears throat> and then let me look on the pattern. There should be a little knot or notch or dot here. Hold on. Okay, yes, there is. So let me mark these if I can find my pin again. So just where your notch is, put your pattern. Okay. And here's our notch right here. This is where... You're gathering. Okay, and then on the back, there should be one. And there is right here. So just match your notch. mark that. Okay, and do both sides. Okay, continuing. Get your seam on the bottom matched up. Now where you began to gather is where you want this dot. Okay, so right here. So just pin that. And pin along here, match your notch down here. Okay, it's nice and flat. to your other side. Make sure it's all even. Okay, come over here. Match your notch. Okay, and here's my dot right here. So, and there's my dot right here. And put those together. Get my string out of my way. Get down there. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna gather 
so this will fit up here. So let me find my string. Here it is. Come here. Here we go. And gather this. Oh, I got a pin in it. Hold on. Get that out of the way. Okay. Gather this end. and flat and pin it. Okay, go to your other side and do the same thing. gathering it. There's my hole for my dot. Bring it up even, nice and flat, and pin. So let me get the other one done, and these are going to be sewn at 5 eighths. So we'll have that armhole. So let me get the other one done and then we'll get sewing. Okay, I have this one done. Okay, so sew five eighths around. Remember, always start at your bottom hem. That way you don't see where you started. You don't want to start up here and then have the back stitch and you can see it. So always start at the bottom part of your hem okay and I will be right back okay I got mine done so just go around and be sure you didn't catch your shirt check your other one okay and now you can take out your basting or your uh, gathering string see how good I can get this one out this down. There. Okay. And get your other one. And we're almost done. Keep your shirt inside out and now we're gonna hem it you can go around if you want and with your pinking shears um, cut this seam if you want I probably will do it just a little just to so it's not as bulky okay Okay, so here we are. Almost done, ladies. I hope this is not too big for me, but... Okay, you can get your pinking shears if you want. And like I showed you before, just take off a little. You don't want to get where you sewed. Okay, so let me get that done. And then I'll get back to you. Okay. So we're doing the hem. So be sure your seams are open. And turn over a quarter of an inch. Now this is a longer shirt. So after I get this part done, I am going to just put it up to me and see about what size hem I want. So just keep going around. Make sure 
your seam is open. <laughs> Remember, this one had the lace also on the bottom, which I'm not putting on. Lace and laundry just don't go well together. Okay, there's one more little section here. What I'm going to do is just hold this up to me. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going to do about a inch, maybe three quarters. So get your little ruler and your clips or your pins. Start at your back. Let's see. Let's see what this one. Okay, this is about three quarters. So I think I'm gonna do three quarters. So just measure, press, and clip, and I'll be back. Okay, everybody, here we are. And it is a low cut. I thought maybe, but it is a low cut shirt. This is a size 12. And I mean, it's loose enough, but it's not real tight on me. It's a little loose, but I'm really like an 11 and it's really hard to make. So I just go with a little bit bigger size. So, but here it is. <clears throat> okay. And this one was the 6891. New look. And I did do the C without the lace. Um, I might do D as that has drawstrings on the sleeve. Um, it's like this one. But it has a button. And I don't really want a button in a loop. I'd rather have the tie. So I might just switch the neckline. That's the only difference I would do. And then you would have to put buttonholes, you know, in your sleeve so you could draw your sleeves and tie them. But so that's that one for tonight. Um, if I can help anybody with this pattern, please leave a comment. If you make it, please post it. Um, I'd love to see it. Um, let me see what else. Uh, tomorrow. I don't know yet what we're going to do. I'm still debating on an apron. Um, I know I made another shirt. Like this. So it's like this and it has elastic, like double elastic in your sleeves and you just wear like a little um, shirt underneath it. Can't think of what they're called right now. Um, but yeah, this is the one. So I think I might make another one of these. Um, in a bluish to go with jeans. So, um, let me see if the number pattern that is. Um, let's see. 
and that's pattern. It would be like this one. Um, it's number N, as in Nancy, 6743. And I might make like a blue one to go with blue jeans. So, but anyways, thank you for spending your evening with me. I hope that this helped somebody. It's a totally different neckline. Um, but anyways, um, if you would like, share, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, like I said, if you make an item, please post it. I'd love to see it, and um, I will see you all tomorrow, and have a good night.